Hi and welcome and I hope you're doing well. In this video here I'll be doing a disassemble on a laptop Acer Nitro. Uh, this model here is Acer AN515-51. Alright, I try to bring it closer to the screen and you can try to take a look here. So it's Acer AN515-51-50 um, or you can say the model is Acer N17C1 okay so this is the uh, the Nitro Acer laptop um, when I'm going to dis disassemble the laptop uh, you get a chance to see on how to replace the fan um, the secondary hard drive or the main hard drive for the M.2 SSD drive um, maybe increase the RAM for yourself um, and whatnot so alright um, let's get started okay so it's very basic uh, all you need to do is have a Phillips screwdriver and a prying tool um, or a plastic one is fine and let's go ahead and remove the back plate so you need to remove all all the screws here first and they're all Phillips screws yeah um, doesn't matter where you're gonna put the screws back on because all the screws are the same size So the reason why I'm doing this video here is that I'll be replacing the logic board on this model. Um, what happened is that my client was using it and all of a sudden there was a power outage. And just so happened that the laptop was plugged in and the client was still using the computer and that's how the thing got shorted out and the computer died. So um, I was able to find a replacement motherboard for this model. Uh, that is why I'm going going to replace it, and I just wanted to show and share the video while I'm doing this process. All right. So if you look here in the back, uh, bottom left here, this is your secondary hard drive. So if you go ahead and pry it open. and this is the data drive if you want to call it because it runs on a 2.5 inch um, hard drive so it doesn't come with the computer but you can buy you know from Amazon or eBay and just install into a SATA uh, as a secondary drive alright so if you move to the right this is the uh, slot for the, your RAM and if you want to install additional RAM you have a secondary slot here you can do so I uh, just wanted to point it out to you this is a DDR4 RAM so you can see it says PC4 and this is a 8 gig okay so you can buy a DDR4 8 gigs RAM and install it on a second slot that would be 16 total for your upgrade and oh yeah and for those of you who wants to replace the motherboard um, the mod the motherboard model is the C5 MMH or C7 MMH let me try to bring it closer to the screen Hopefully you can see it. All right. So once you have all the screws removed, right, and the the cover for the secondary drive and the RAM, now is the time for you to remove the back plate. 
So what I usually do is I usually try to come in and see where the gap is, where the, the opening would be. Okay, so for this case, it is right here. Okay, so I'm just trying to stick something in and pry open just a little bit and I work my way around it. Okay, so once I have a little gap and now I can come back and slowly pry open the rest. Okay, if you feel like it's stuck, you can always come back and work your way around it slowly. You don't have to rush this process because they are just a clip on, right? You just gotta wiggle, wiggle until you get a a really comfort and loose loose part and it'll just come right out. Alright, just as simple as that. And the whole back plate will just come right out. Okay, at this point here, you can see that um, the CPU fan is here, heat sink. All right, so we remove the RAM. And again, this is the motherboard model number. This is the uh, M.2, the operating drive, the C drive. Okay, the main drive is over here. The battery is at the bottom. Okay, the secondary drive is here. DC connector, the DC jack connector is a separate. Okay, it's not soldered onto the motherboard. So for those of you who broke the DC jack, you can just buy this piece right here. Okay, and replace it. And it's connected to this cable. Okay, let's go ahead and disconnect the DC jack cable, right? And this is the USB uh, slot. And for those of you who broke the USB and you just want to replace this, you can just replace the I.O. board. Okay, and let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. And this is the battery here. The battery has two screws that holds onto it, one and two. So you remove the two screws and that's how you get the battery out. The battery replacement would be the Acer AC14B8K. Just look it up, this model here. Okay. Alright, so that's said and done. Um, what I usually do is I usually label the Wi Fi because you do not want to mix match the cable. So before I disconnect, this is the black and this is the white. I'll do W on the top and B at the bottom. Okay. So I know that the white cable goes on the top and the black cable goes at the bottom. Okay, here comes the Wi-Fi adapter. So we just put that on the side. Let's go ahead and remove all the cables, right? So I believe this is the keyboard lighting, the back lighting. And this is the keyboard. So you need to flip, not open, but um, down so that you can remove the flex cable. This is a touchpad connector. So go ahead and flip open the clipper, remove the flex cable. Uh, this one here is just a uh, lighting. Okay, just go ahead and disconnect that. This is your CMOS battery. Okay, con disconnect this. If you want to upgrade your M.2 solid state drive to a larger capacity on the OS, uh, you can go ahead and replace this. 
Okay, so this one here is the size of 256. Uh, if you want to go higher, you can just replace the uh, it's called M.2 NVMe drive. All right, and then you just get a USB Windows 10 and reinstall the Windows and you should be good to go. All right, so far we have disconnect that and you want to do this one here. This is for your USB, All right? Remove it. This one here is for your fan. Go ahead and disconnect that. And this is for the screen all you do is just pull right out okay um, I'm sorry this is not for the screen this is for the uh, uh, the secondary hard drive okay so as you can see it comes right out so it goes just press it in like a Lego and once you want to remove it just pull and you'll remove okay and this is your LCD screen connector same concept you just need to pull it and it'll just come right out okay at this point here is one last fan Okay, so this last here is for the CPU fan. Okay, so we pretty much have everything disconnected from the motherboard. So right now we just the matter of removing it. Okay, I just removed the, the uh, CPU fan. Okay. And have one last cable and this last cable here is actually the speaker so I need to remove it and there you go so we have the CPU fan removed okay two of them and this is the uh, the logic board and of course I need to come and clean out the heat sink so you can get those a duster and spray it get the alcohol wipes and just wipe it down and there's the motherboard right so you want to match the uh, the motherboard serial number before you replace it okay once you have that removed um, so technically what is underneath here is actually your keyboard the keyboard replacement if you want to replace keyboards okay the keyboard is actually um, attached to the palm rest. All right, so it is a one piece together like this. So when you replace it, I believe you would have to replace the entire palm rest and the keyboard together. Um, the way I look at it is it doesn't seem to be um, a separate keyboard. It looks like 
is built, built in together okay so you have no choice but to replace the whole whole plate like that all right for those of you who wants to continue and replace the LCD screen you're very close to be that position right now is to remove three screws on both sides all right if you can see uh, the hinge here there are three screws remove these three and remove these three screws and you can open up the hinge that's how you separate that's how you separate the uh, the LCD and and the keyboard and you can just replace the whole whole um, LCD if you want or another way to do it is you can remove the bezel all right so this is the bezel all around it it doesn't seem to be screw to me it looks like it's double adhesive tape so if you open it up you know what let's just do it already I wasn't going to do the screen replacement but I'm sure somebody is going to ask and really try to replace the LCD screen themselves so hopefully this one is going to help you with it alright so you remove the bezel uh, there's no screw like I said it's more like a double sided adhesive tape so put some pressure slowly pry it open once you have that being pried open um, four screws that holds onto the screen right so one on the top right and one on the top left remove them and then the two screws at the bottom And at this point, you just got to remove the uh, 40 pin connector. Once you remove it, there you go, you have the screen and you can uh, replace your cracked screen. Um, yep, so it is very straightforward, very simple. And um, I hope you like the video and learn something off of my video as well. Um, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you have any question. Um, I'm more than happy to answer those questions and um, I really hope that uh, this video helps you to, to, to fix your computer. Uh, if you have a different computer that you need help with, uh, just you know send me an email, go to my website. Um, Alright, so I'll see you again. Uh, thanks for watching and always take care.